Nature is a wonderful place. There are many wonders that are being destroyed day by day. Struggles created by both nature and humans. The once known beautiful earth is dying. What can we do to save the world we live on? The world we once knew and loved? Some people don't acknowledge these things, and it's a threat to the earth. Here, nearly 900 million trees are cut down. This can also be called deforestation. Deforestation is wiping out trees around the globe, yet 30% of, of the earth is still covered in trees. One way to help prevent this is to plant trees and plants. Trees provide shade and fresh air. This will not make a difference, however, if only a few people do this. The problem needs to be known worldwide, so millions of people can plant trees and help the deforestation. Some companies like Crayola plant one tree for every tree they cut down to make the colored pencils. One of the problems that is causing effects to our wildlife is pollution. Animals like sea otters are dying out because of waste and garbage that humans are putting into the oceans and rivers. There was once over 1 million sea otters in the wild, but nearly being hunted to extinction in the 1700s. Toxins and chemicals that are released into the wild are slowly killing off animals that live in our planet. But we can prevent this by recycling and picking up your trash when you're outside. When you go camping, pick up after yourself and don't leave anything on the campsite. Together, we can stop the massacres that are happening in our world, leaving thousands of species to die because of our mistakes. Humans aren't the only ones that are causing change in the environment. Changes in the temperature are slowly affecting the environment. The five hottest years recorded have happened since 1997. Scientists predict that if heat trapping carbon emissions are controlled, the average temperature could rise to 3 to 10 degrees by the end of the century. Higher temperatures are melting the polar ice caps, causing many animals who live there to struggle for survival. Many scientists believe this is because of the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is mostly caused by greenhouse gases released by man. If this continues, we must adapt to the extremely hot temperatures yet to come to our Earth. All of these disasters that are destroying and changing our environment can change. Wildlife may not deserve what humans are causing them. We not dominated the Earth and are causing many species to go in danger and even extinct. Then that brings up an important question scientists have been asking for years. Are we supposed to be on Earth? Or was it another one of nature's mistakes? Estimated to be twice the size of Texas, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch stretches from the coast of California all the way to Japan. In some places, the man-made debris is 90 feet deep.
Marine biologists estimate that 90% of the 3.5 million tons of floating trash is all plastic. In some parts of the ocean, there's already six times more plastic than plankton, which is the food many fish rely on to survive. How did all that plastic end up in the ocean? 80% is litter from land, either dropped directly into waterways, blown by wind into rivers and streams from states as far away as Iowa. The monumental amount of plastic trash has created an ecological disaster that has cost the lives of millions of seabirds and marine mammals. When this dead albatross was cut open, its stomach was full, not of fish, but of plastic including a cigarette lighter. And this turtle, caught in a plastic ring when it was young, managed to survive until adulthood.